crazy. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Straight. Straight. Yeah. Let me do it again. Two way. Please do it one. That's new. No, what no. is that? No, that was just me doing it because I'm being a selfish bitch right now. Y'all ready? Okay. Clear our throats. <clears throat> <clears throat> and it's time to get straight to, to it. it. That sounded corny. Yeah, you gonna redo it. Yeah, I, I like how you say tuned into another episode of. No, but you yeah, that could like be that. something like we no. upgrade. Come on, to. one, two. Hello, what did I say? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, not a lot of people say that. That is true, but I don't want to say that because I feel like. Hello, thank you so much for tuning into our episode of, and we' about to get straight to, to it. it. Here you go. Hey, y'all. What it is. And oh, what's, what's up? up? Like, got, got your nigga in the cut. cut. God damn. Can I say this? This is really off topic. They Please. hear about that white girl. No, no, no. We no, care about no, her no, too. No, 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 no. Wait. Because that's a fucked up story. Because that should be something we should talk about too, But at the same time, the all them motherfucking kids going missing inside her mother. Them black kids going to, um, only because she got caught. Everybody care about her. Huh? And that shit fucks. And that shit is so fucked up. Like, when I'm you so actually worried. think about it. They stole Kelly Price. You told me I look like Kelly uh, And I think she got saved. Not say I don't want to sound like that. Like she's a damsel in distress. <laughs> this shit right here. I'm really thinking about it because it's a whole bunch of kids going missing and all this stuff and organ traffic and stuff like that. And y'all worried about her ass. Y'all know her boyfriend fucking killed her. Fucking common sense. They always do that. This like, but purpose. you know what? It's just like when that uh. When that husband killed the the two daughters mm -hmm. and the, the mama, kids, the kids. That, that story was interesting. Not to say you know that we don't feel bad. About I do feel bad. Like I'm so I'm praying for I'm not praying for his side of the family because it seems like his mom and his grandma. I mean his parents are trying to cover up for him. Yeah, and that is so fucked up. Because if y'all, but then the act together, like oh we love Gabby and we don't they don't, don't love her and that shit is so sickening. About. Because you, you haven't been on you haven't been on social media. Oh yeah, you haven't. They I haven't like either. Listen. But um, my she coworkers are so invested inside of the story. But I just really feel like okay, we know that boy killed her. Okay, he's trying to run. Let's give a quick update just in case people are watching and they don't know either. But Gabby, I don't know her last name is like something Gabby P. What is she gonna say? Uh, she went missing. She was on a a trip across the country yes, with her yes. boyfriend, and they were in Utah. No, right? at her fiance. Yeah. They were uh like vlogging their YouTube. She's they quit YouTube, their jobs yeah. and they were living out of a van yeah. to travel across the country uh, and vlog it. Van. Yeah, mm -hmm. and vlog it like that. And, and they've been with he him. came back without her. And they tried. Her parents tried to call her missing on the trip, but they wouldn't let her because they was on a trip. And but they don't, they don't know when she went missing because they said she was still posting, but the stuff that she was posting didn't was, seem was like odd. her. Yeah, it was like it was odd. So they feel like. He been killed her, and, and he was, was posting her account to make it look like. And they got a police report right now of the of the. He had, they had a domestic. It was a domestic call. Mm -hmm. Let's well, go. Come on now. Well, get out of here. We done. I'm just leave it at that. And then yes, and he killed the people that had something to do with the domestic call too, because they tried to the, step in. The uh, the, 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 the the workers. The double homicide. Then? Yeah. The, It's on the flip side, it's yes, it's it's too much. It's too. Is it? What? Uh huh. People are crazy. You you were supposed to open your hand. Like oh, that. I thought it was like that. No, well, I mean you can't do it like that. But open. And this is the most common one. No. Yeah. So that's just crazy. Find the kids that's going missing in Chicago. And in Michigan. And in Michigan. Everywhere. 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 Point, point like, here, like everywhere. And it's a lot of people crazy, going. It's a lot of people going missing, and actually inside of the um, where was they at the national parks? The national yeah. parks. No, 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 no. Let me tell you what the most juiciest part about the, the story is. is. Somebody was in Utah at the same time as they was. They was taking pictures and shit, right? Uh -huh. So the day that they came up missing, somebody took a picture of their car, not of their car, but like with their car in the background. So they like, bitch, I was there. I That's seen that car because the plates. Is, Imagine them. I put two and two together and got what I guess what I got. It didn't even add up. It didn't even add up. And it's just like 
okay, I'm all, we all the way in Utah, and your yo, 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 yo plate is Florida. Bitch, you think somebody not going to... And then the van, I guess it was like a white distinct van or something like that. Not one of them. Oh, my God. But it's crazy. The couple that found the van were people from Florida, too. And That's they why said they said it was they were, they were Yeah, that was crazy because, you know, like they're all the way in Utah. And to see another Florida, you know, license plate, all it was like Utah. mesmerizing or whatever. That's like when we went to Toronto and you kept on seeing people with Michigan, Michigan plates or yeah. Jersey plates. And we like take a picture or something like that with them. But on the flip side, so crazy yeah. story. The whole story is Florida crazy. story is... Stop fucking with these people that are crazy. Then they not say she's not that. Find all these missing people. Like, it, but then again, too, like, so it's crazy that, like, ever since I've seen social media start saying, you know, oh, once, damn, I don't want to say that. When did white girl go missing? Oh, you talking about from TikTok? Yeah. The one like, white everybody girl keeps missing. saying, yeah, but ever since I start seeing people say that, like, oh, one, one you know, whatever, go missing, What's and it's all about? hell. But it's like all these other people are missing. Now I'm starting to see more found, like, uh, more articles on social media about then, bodies being found. Yes. So it's like, they is it making them and, actually start to get up and look and do yes, their job? Th- that's one thing I did say about her story. Because they actually looked in that area, they have found more bodies. So it's just like... But like oh, it was a young black find- man that I just seen that they just found their, his body. And I, I was think crazy. people are starting to use the social media again. It's crazy. On the flip side, so anyway, one, we just want to talk about news. Haiti because um, Baby, I'm trying to stay away from. We praying for Haiti right now. They just went through that earthquake. I think we said in our last video about that too. I did not start this shit on my phone. Oh shit! You didn't press it was on my phone. We just my they actual don't, they phone. Don't, they don't miss oh. this episode. They just so miss this episode. yeah, um, we praying for Haiti. Or you don't um, that people, I can. Do the record audio it. at all. No, I don't record it. I just gotta uh submit the audio and they'll just take the audio from the video both of them. Yeah, both of them. Oh. But um Haiti, we praying for it right now because all this stuff is going on and they are at the Texas border. Mm-hmm. We're not a hundred percent on this story, but you know, stop by saying my Zos is out there and I really care for them. So, you know. Yeah, they um they were crossing the border, and I didn't like that video because I watched. I didn't even watch it all because I was just like, "Are you serious?" I could. They I were couldn't. literally I didn't like. Okay, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't understand it because it's like y'all police officers. Why are y'all whipping them? Why are y'all not just collecting them as a whole and sending them to immigration? And you know what I, what I'm that's like, my thing. Like, what do you? You're like you're whipping them on a horse when you could like they're all coming. Like you, you can see them all coming. Like, bitch, they we can't is not, run. We is not in no motherfucking eighteen ninety two. This is not no cowboys and fucking Indians. Which the story was flipped on that because. That's you a know, different day, a different but story. but it just doesn't make sense to me. I, don't, I I just don't understand it. I'm like, what are y'all getting out of doing this? That'd like, be the thing. Like out of all out of all the options you could take, you chose that, and that just that'd be the. And if they was to retaliate back in that way, and I feel like they would. I wonder what goods we get. Guy. I wonder what goods we get from Haiti because they need to over taxes for them. They need to because it don't make no sense. It just doesn't make sense. We owe the all. money in the first place. Like, French owe their money, Spaniards owe their money, all of them owe their money. That's why they're still poor because they stole everything from them. And it's fucked up that they inside this situation now and they can't gain nothing from it because they took everything from them. Like, come on. Yeah, it's just, I just, like it's I just said though, it's greedy. just stupid though because it's like y'all are whipping them when y'all could have just put them all like into the like same circle and then let them come it's anyways. Just, it's, it's different like they ways need help to go. Now. It's different ways like, to go. Like, like, thing. And then that too, like police officers, they just do too much to me. Like. What's and then the they, 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 the they wonder president? why they wonder why we mm-hmm. got, we, we yeah. say um so defund the, the police and then another thing too is like we are Americans we have immigrants come in all the motherfucking time they're gonna have to all go through the process yeah they is so like, that's what I'm saying like it just didn't make no sense it was just stupid definitely they definitely could just but then they love to to paint the picture on uh for like the news and social media or whatever like they and even if they that they, they're doing good and shit like that but when it really comes down just to like it, they like, let like, everybody they, really, they, they let everybody from afghanistan they let everybody come in open arms and i understand that it is a lot going on with the taliban and stuff like that but it's but, shit going on in haiti too exactly. yeah, they, they, just have a they can't, a live, they can't ass, live there that's unbelievable a whole ass are circumstances point. Go ahead and grab a straw and suck my ass. How about that? It's just fucked up. The whole government itself is just so it's just fucked so up and corrupted. And it's, and then it's, all it's them, beyond me. It's all them immigrants. I'm not trying to sound like that. I am not. It's all those immigrants already in Texas. Like, they just can't go there. They're doing the jobs that we don't want to do. 
and a damn good job at it. And, and that's big facts. They the most harder. We are a melting pot. Them. Like, what is adding more to it? Like, I don't understand. Like, y'all don't even have the. I feel like they don't even have the right to even say yeah, who can come and go. No, y'all love to make everywhere. money off of fuck motherfuckers, anyways. Why not add more people? Shit. Yeah, for cheap, we already in debt. Have them help us pay it the fuck off. That we owe them money. That we it should they should be coming with open arms, honestly. Oh, Freely, no. shit. But I believe Biden said he gonna let all of them through or something. And like you that. mean to tell me that they at the fucking border trying to get in and they and, and are being whipped? Whipped. Like what? Like what the fuck is this? Like, and you're on a fucking horse. <laughs> that, just are you make kidding me? Like, it's like, on, this think is about what you're doing. Like whose a, fucking idea was it? Uh, who, who signed the paper to let that shit happen? Where like, did they get the whip? Where did the horses come from? Why is there still whips? Because if you, did they like slap it up all together? Let's go get these motherfuckers. Like that don't even make sense to me. Like the variances. It's off. It's off. It's not leveled up. The equilibrium of the whole story it's, is not it's there. It's like it's like flabbergasting. Mm, y'all always trying to find something. something that's very why, much something. That's why you had to get your to go box. Cause I don't think I want to eat here no more. Not comfortable. That's why I'm used to hurry up and get rich so I can go ahead and take my cute ass to Africa. <laughs> I, I, it, it is, I, dude, now they tried to say that. Where the fuck did they get the fucking whips from? Because no, did y'all ask somebody? Did they get the horses? What's the horses is that? No, they. I know. Somebody. I can understand the horse, but I'm saying like we're. That's all a saddle up. Like who comes up with some shit like that? They wanted to be Texas Rangers. <laughs> they wanted to be what? Texas Rangers <laughs> with Chuck Norris. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you ain't never watched Texas Ranger. No. Like I say. You ain't never watched that before. No. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god, Bobby, you so hot shit. Love fucking Texas <laughs> oh my god. Put Chuck Norris in it. Chuck Norris. Get the fuck out of here. Who used to watch it? Bobby. Exactly. My dad used to watch it. My dad used to watch it too. Because they used to, they grew up watching Cowboys. Watch like a 45 minute video. I ain't watching that shit on right now. But no. That that long ass gone. (laughs) Get the fuck out of here. Like, this shit is stupid. I'm just still stuck on this. Like, y'all whipped them? They fucking nerds. What the fuck? The fuck you did? I don't know. It's stupid. Like, they don't even whip their own kids. Some of them don't even whip their kids. And you have to Show them don't. Them y'all be ready. Y'all somebody. be ready to call my fucking Ooh. CPS on folks for putting hands on And just imagine kids. some of the people left their kids or something like that. And they like trying to stack up a few true? checks like to the, go back to go get their kids because they have to the get The hardship. Kids, like. like you probably couldn't even fucking imagine what. Motherfuckers done lost their whole Or whole, when their babies just whole died life or something. Here. Yeah. Right, family members, all type of shit, and they just have and to then up they, and they leave. trying to come and get help, and y'all oh, whipping them. God. What the fucking horse? I would have bit the shit. I think, think they should have pulled them motherfuckers off. I, I was about to say, I would have been a fighting motherfucker because I'm fighting for my life. I just already lost everything. What else I mean, do I have? I they, obviously, they obviously don't got guns. They got whips. Type of fuck. No, I'm sorry. Um, shit, yeah. me and mines. Let's go. Settle the fuck up. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that like that. I meant like, <laughs> let's roll. <laughs> let's ride. I mean, damn, I don't be meaning it. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> sad on the fuck <laughs> That's, I mean, they can we switch right. topics? Listen, so the Met Gala was just recently, and, um, yes. and they, I don't, I I don't think this it. year they, I didn't think they went hard this year, like how they were supposed to. Like, so the theme right. was American, I believe. I know it was American. Oh my god! Okay, wait. So the dude that had uh, need you to know that who was best dressed, y'all. Uh, I think Little street. Baby killed it. I think. I, oh, go to Little Baby. I didn't see what he wore. Chloe and Haley, Tiana Taylor. Oh, yeah, Tiana Taylor. Baby. Chloe, Chloe, baby. And, Chloe, and what's his name? Tiana Taylor, Megan Thee Stallion, Little Baby. Who else? They just they them pe- some of them showed up. Oh, 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 Kiki Palmer did. Oh yeah, we did say Kiki yeah, Palmer. Palmer. It was simple. simple. Yeah, yeah. In your face, yeah. Ooh. Megan looked it so good. It's, it's the hair for me. Megan looked it so good. 
Which, I mean, she always looks good, so yeah. You know, it's nothing new. The Curry's looking good, too. Hey, she's so, so pretty. Funny. How you want me to wipe it? You know, how you sure know. Uh, whoever that lady was, the one, the lady that wore the dress that said Tax the Rich. Who did you say again? Her. Tax the Rich? Oh, she's, she's, uh... <coughs> <coughs> you so childish. Who am I, um, who did you say you wanted to see? Little baby. Right here. Lily baby. <laughs> I didn't like his shoes. I feel like it was the chains. Yeah, that chain. He just nice. looked like he can walk. Like Barry the Platypus. Yeah, like he gonna bite me or something. Let me stop. He might whoop my ass. You can fuck around and get jumped. Smack. Lee baby. Not smack. That's I'm why they say his name is Paris. He was like, ah. Oh, but yeah, I think. Baby. What do y'all think? Like, did you? I don't think they came as hard as I wanted them to. I just be wanting to know, like. The description of why you wore that and why did and how did it resonate to they the U.S. Well, Beyonce looked just so motherfucking good last year. Um, I really, I don't know. What like, what was the feathers? What was all the feathers that everybody was wearing? Like, what Lizzo, is that? Lizzo looks nice. But I'm saying, like, I what, you mean. what is know. what was related? To I don't know. Which, if y'all was famous, would y'all go to the Met Gala? Yes, I want to go to the Met Gala one day. They said it's like what. $50,000 for you a table, invited, you but invited you have to get invited by, one by the lady, the lady that does it, and then you the, go to sponsor the one um, brand, so it'll be like Louis Vuitton, Christian yeah. Dior, Birkin, um, the designer, yeah, whoever is who, and you have to wear whatever they tell you, know, so yeah, so they just me. get them dressed, so we really can't even say who was looking, but it's like, them. yeah, so I guess when you're famous and you get invited, you don't pay for the shit because they pay for the table that you, yeah, they pay, oh my god, they looked so good last year, who? Oh yeah, I like it as well. So, see, like, what are the feathers? What was last year's? Uh, I forgot. Thing. So then let's talk about uh, sexualizing. She says she's she's the queen of the Megala. Yeah, that's right. Who let me see? Who is she though? She How doesn't. She? I'm sorry, Who? it's not cute to me. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I can't see. That's giving real old yeah, lady uh, yeah. table cover. She got the Karen cut. She looks like a Karen. So let me speak to your manager. Oh my god, y'all did y'all watch that movie, Karen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was it good? No, I don't do that. But yeah, so yeah, the Mac Gala, you know, I thought last year was way last year was way better. Everybody stepped the fuck out last year. This year it was alright. I expected more, but you know, it is what it is. It probably the reason why it probably wasn't that it didn't go that hard, Nicki Minaj wasn't there. That's what it probably was. If she would have showed up, she would have showed up. Who do you want? Ooh. The Met Gala. Oh, okay, what was he talking about? Sexualizing? Sexualizing. Yeah, so sexualized you nigga. fucked me, you fucked the old body. Now you gonna finish it? No. I forgot that verse, because Nikki O is my body. Nicole body or something? You know what? Y'all ain't really bars for real. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are to come for me? I'm gonna start seeing Roger that. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a kid eating kitty in the market. Get that bitch up quarter in the car. It's in the pocket. We're already running up here. Oh, okay. Kind of running down the block like a track team. Because I don't even know why you girls bother at this So, point. yeah, us say, I mean, I I give it up. It's me. I win. I win. You lose. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. I go crazy. I have a. Okay, look it, look it. So sexualizing. Like, I just feel like it is it's, it's give ridiculous. Our give our definition first of, of what exactly we mean when we just say sexualizing. I mean, sort of like a bird turning down. For Which I feel like it's different ways you can put sexualizing. Yeah, because the video that I sent y'all mm -hmm. just recently about the mom and the son. Mm -hmm. It's so it, it it can go so many it can go in so many different directions. Like just like because we sexualize. 
with like because and and in this instance that we're talking about, no, I no, mean. I'm saying like as a society. Um, when I say that, uh, we sexualize. Fuck, we sexualize everything. What the fuck? Yeah, I and it's and it's even crazy, like because I caught myself doing it, like with that whole forty two dust situation. Until like you know, y'all gave me y'all opinion on it, and I'm like, damn, you is right because it's like. But that's our opinion. I feel like I don't. But it's like y'all opinions opened up mine. Okay, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, and then it's like, damn, I am because that that is his child. Like, what's wrong with what's wrong with showing your child love and affection? affection. And that's why when you said it like that to me, I'm like, oh, please don't say it like that because it's just a child. And then that's like, I feel like that's another thing too because it's like, why do those why are those words so like big? You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. In sexualizing, like. Showing love and affection to your child. And we're not just trying to aim this around for you to Doug. That yeah, was just no, the only one we just pop up inside our head. And I feel like everybody's seen that video. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because that was a big topic not too long So should we give our opinions about it or no? Um, I don't want to go no, for no, just because on we that still, one. we're gonna talk about deeper into the conversation about yeah, other different yeah. things. Because like the video, the TikTok that I just sent y'all, it was like um, how mothers are with their sons and like watching their sons get girlfriends and stuff like that. And you know, we'll be like, oh well, my I was son my son's first time. love, and and my son did this, this, that, and the third for me. And now that he has you, what is he gonna do for me? Like kind of like kind of like um, treating their son low key like. Their the husband or their yeah. significant other, other yeah. kind of thing. My mom never did that. That's and it's true. like I see. I feel like we see a lot of that in like some kind of movies. Yes, and that and that you puts on the pressure that you're supposed to act like that with your kid. Hmm. Um, low key, man is Mendici. Mendici's, yeah. How his well, mom be like? Well, you just gonna take you? You just listen to uh, what's her name? Yeah, his girlfriend. Yes. And yeah, you just Andy. listen to Yandy and what? What is she? What is she telling you and stuff like that? And I'm like. Bro, and then it'd be a low key kind of, it'd be like a low key kind of jealousy that they son has found love and found another woman yeah, that they can depend to be like, on, I'm and it's not gonna first be, love. Yeah. yeah, like you need me, you don't need her type of shit. But it's like, it, I'm not, I'm not your significant other. You I'm know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Take, but then I feel like that more knowing that Mandisi is his mom's. I'm not. I don't know. I'm just speaking for what I think. That's probably he's probably his mom's source of income too. So that's another thing on that too. No, I think she. Well, I'm not saying she's not, not well off, but like, she seems like she's a really put together woman. Ain't they? Ain't she Caribbean? I don't know, but yeah, like I feel like I see in in a lot of different. I see but then I feel like that's another thing too. Like our culture compared to their culture, like everybody culture is different when it comes to sexualizing too. Because I know like, uh, Haitian women with their male sons. Is different compared to like American women, but then I can't say it just the American because I know like white women treat their sons different than the black mother or like a Mexican and then like Arab and then like Chinese. Like, because I know like in the Chinese culture, they sons that's all they want is, is men, like a, a son or whatever. I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. Just like in any culture, like the men, they want their men first. Like, so I don't even know, like, and I feel like in that way, in that hierarchy or patriarchy way it's like a sexualizing was, was it i read something a long time ago it's like where in a sexual it, way where it was um Am I sounding like right? what I you're saying it. they they used like when a woman used to get pregnant if it was a girl they would have to get an abortion because they would only want men so men could work i don't yeah, know exactly yeah, yeah, where yeah, i yeah, read yeah, that yeah, from yeah. That's like something like or something what like if it Asian. was a certain culture or whatever but i remember reading that and i don't know but i know it was sometime like back in the day what I was thinking about is that, um, like here, where like um, I seen a, I, it was a long time ago. I seen a picture of a girl, a, a woman, and she had like three or four bo- different boys, and they was grown as hell. They had to be in like I would say about s- probably like sixteen was the youngest, and probably like 20, 30, 20, 30 probably the oldest. And they all was all in her bed, and they was all sleeping, and they was like. I hope one day me and my sons could uh, sleep like this together still. Oh, and, like a whole bunch of people. Were, I like, seen the picture that. of like Waka Flocka and his mom. I would probably, I think it was that. Yeah. But it looked at, like they was all like sleeping together and nobody it was like, oh, 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 that's cute and stuff like that. But I feel like if it was a dad and a daughter, it would be way different. And I feel like people over, they over sexualize, like they be like, uh, men shouldn't be affectionate to their kids, but then when their kids get older, they're like, oh, my dad didn't show me no motherfucking love at all and stuff like that. And like, because society treats us like that. Another thing, too, is that when, when fathers, they want fathers to just be there for kids, but they don't want them to show love and affection to their kids. Financially. Financially. Like, it doesn't yes, make sense well, to me. Yeah. Like, um, what is wrong with 
like in the video, what was wrong? I I didn't understand what was wrong with his with the, the with his uh with that girl and her dad. Yeah, that's what he was with the same each other. other like that. The video on uh, it was a video that we seen on oh, TikTok. Oh yes, yes, where when he's laying dad, on top of the. Yeah, the dad was in kind of like a big sofa chair, and the daughter I think she was like sixteen or seventeen, but she was like literally laying on him, like just cuddling just with him, yeah, just sleeping, yeah. and it's like I realized that too, like before you know, and I how had she was positioned. I would have been probably like, yo, she too old for that. But it's like, it's love and affection. Like, if it wasn't really for social media uh, sexualizing it, nobody would have ever thought that way. Exactly. Like, and then like, I feel like people that get molested and stuff have that impact that everybody's... Because I can't... I don't want to say that like that. But then I do feel like I hear a lot from a woman that been hurt in their past before... They say stuff like that, like he ain't she ain't supposed to sit on his lap like that. And it's just like not every man is like that. But yeah. because they're like fight or flight mode with that mindset, it's like I can't tell you what, what how you, you should feel because that didn't happen to me. Yeah. So like if that happened to you and that's just your protection between you, yourself, and your kids, then that's just gonna that's just gonna how it's gonna be, you know? But I, I just feel like if nothing's going on, why do you care? Like another thing too is just like why do y'all give a fuck about what's going on with, with somebody, somebody else? else? What the fuck? If me and my daughter want to, or if like, me and my daughter want to, wanna like, if I want to hold my daughter and make sure she go to sleep, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm saying? Like that. Just, but like I said, I'm going to go back to what I just said. If um they just want fathers now, I just feel like they just want fathers to be there and not be there emotionally and be there physically. But like, I mean, just they want them to be there physically and not emotionally and mentally or, um fi- I mean, yeah, well, barely financially. Shit and it's been a big point. stretch. I couldn't even tell you like. When when was the cutoff exactly to when that actually stopped happening? When fathers stopped actually, you know, showing love and affection because it was too sexual. Or they were like, it's too grown for that. But or like a child is too grown. But then I was just about to say too, like just like the same situation with like, okay, it's okay for uh, you know, a a mother's child to see the mother naked, but for a man for them yeah, to see their dad I, naked, it's not. And it's like that yeah. all times that's kinda like double standard too. Yeah, because and it's I think like that's, why that's, is that okay or <clears throat> for, you know, the child for the mom to give the child a bath but the dad can't. Or like I I've even seen thing. shit where we're like they be like they don't let their their child's father change the baby girl's diaper. Oh my god! Like, I, didn't it, lie. I couldn't believe that. I'm like, and then that's another thing that I was about to say too. I noticed a lot of people that been hurt when they were younger. They do it, not want their kids to change their baby's diaper, and it's like if you can't trust somebody, at that point is no point of you having a baby by them. It's like, nothing too. on them. It's it's me, and I'm like, well, you need to fix that about yourself before you do that, because not everybody is like that. One more thing too, though, it is like okay. You know, you, you're you're a mother or you're a father, and you're like, and you know, like you said, uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna do anything for my child, and you know what I'm saying. But it's like the way today is, it's like you know, sometimes you I never really know who yeah. is a weirdo like that and does look at children like that. You know what I'm saying? So you, so you kind of do have to keep your guard up, and you know what I'm saying, like protect your child at any you know any cost necessary. So I'm not saying like you know, okay, well, it's not weirdos out here that's like that because I've been seeing stories where it'd been like it'd be a motherfucker you would have never thought do some weird ass shit. You know just what I'm saying? Just because I've never seen that side of the person don't exactly. mean that she like you know. So it's yeah. like I don't know for real. It's like I feel I like it's, but I just feel like we need to allow men to start acting vulnerable for vulnerable for their kids because that's, I feel like we need to start implementing that into fatherhood because who just wants a stern parent and stuff like that? Like I said. People always have that. It'd be like people that had dads in their life but still have daddy issues, and this is why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't. That's, think that's another okay. reason why a lot of a lot of uh, of our generation men aren't comfortable with opening up. Don't show feelings. I feel like that's not even like, just our generation. I think that's just men point blank. Period. No, no, no. That's true. I, I, think I that's, feel like I feel like yes. Period. But I feel like more so on the. The earlier generations, like the, I mean, the newer generations, like us, and I get what you're saying. The though, ones because before when, us. Whenever our homes start getting broken up a little bit more, I can see that uh, being a shift change because father wasn't at home, so uh, daddy Brother couldn't. Sh- yeah, I get what you're saying. Like, and then a the father, if he's not home, how can he, how can he show affection to? Like, I don't gotta say it. Like, because if he was never there, and you never seen a real man show affection, but the one that you've been with. Or, you know, vice versa. You only see your mom act a fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I do. And that's what I, I meant to say that, too. It's like, I feel like dads need to start showing more affection to their kids to show people this is how. Mm-hmm. This is how you're supposed to act. 
This is how you're supposed to treat. You're supposed to treat your mom like this. So you know how it is. So when you get older, you won't have... You know what I'm saying? Like, It'd be more of, confusing. Yeah, exactly. You... You, if you don't understand that, if you don't learn that from a child, then when you get older, you won't do it. For instance, my mom always was affectionate. She always give me a kiss, give me a hug, you know, and I will always Even, do that. And that's the same with like our cousins and stuff too. Um, we always hugging and I ain't gonna say necessarily kissing, but hugging and kissing and loving on each other. So then I remember somebody was like, I ain't never been around motherfuckers that just be hugging and laughing and playing and punching and touching all you not necessarily like that but like how affectionate we is around each other or and we don't I know, know affectionate comfortable around each other exactly. it's like that part right there and how we treat each other kids and how we act and stuff like that that's like and like we, mm -hmm. we mm. I be ready to start some shit because now I'm just thinking oh I be ready um, to shake the motherfucking room shake the table but you know what I ain't gonna do that it makes me think right now. Um, so who eat first, the kids or the man? Sometimes. Okay, okay. That's We're a whole other conversation. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like we're doing pretty good. 31. Damn, really? Oh, damn, we can't even do that. Speak that. This again. We do it quick. Three, five. Y'all go ahead and... Uh, grab the thing, grab the thing, grab the thing. And then yeah. do it, do it for us. Nah, y'all go ahead and explain to them what's going on. Don't look at my uh, chonies. Why you grab it? Don't let her do it. I, you should do it like how I did it that one day. Go. No, no, it's fine. Here we have it, guys. We have a fucking SPJ takeover in three, two, one. Okay, okay so. So today's SPJ is fuck Raynique. Raynique yeah. is not here right now, and it's all about. Us and yeah. what we want to talk about and what we want to do. SPJ coming from the real ass, trill ass, thug ass, mud ass, you know what I'm saying? On phone name grade. Matching ass. This was not planned. Look, he wanted to be like me so motherfucking bad. But keep on going. If you want a fucking cookie. But chocolate chip. So today we're talking about cologne. Yeah. So I had allergies when I was younger, so I couldn't. Bad. We had bad allergies. They still bad now, but like now we're able to start wearing cologne. And I feel like most men. They try to buy all these shoes and these clothes, clothes and these and all belts this and these chains. Just but don't. Damn. Right, just to be musty. A musty little goat. So don't be a musty goat and go buy you some fucking cologne. Go buy you some cologne. Ta you need to. Hygiene. Just take care of your My hygiene. hygiene. Yes. It's, it's ridiculous. One thing that this girl told me Get that nuts. she was. <laughs> this girl told me that she was messing with this shit because I was talking to this girl. She told me I was the cleanest dude that she met, right? She said she was messing with this dude that would go three days, four days without taking a shower. And then oh ethical God. jobs, what and then PJ, and then PSD. Wait, let me cut That's in knocking off your pH balance. I was messing with a dude one time, and this motherfucker talking about some, every time I see you, you got a different pair of panties on. What? I, I, literally, anyway, I said the same ahead. thing to her. I said, go I said, ahead. you said what? And then she, I remember we was in the mall. Deodorant. She was like, um, there go, there he go right there. I said, oh my God. Get that Gucci. She was grown. Well, no, she wasn't grown. He like, was grown. But I'm saying like, are you serious? I didn't hear so many different things. I ain't gonna say nothing. But so, so SPJ today is make sure you take care of your hygiene, men. And yes. make sure you you smelling good. Yes. Brush your Brush teeth, your teeth. Two, twice, twice a day. day. Twice a and look at day. nighttime. Do not spit out your toothpaste. Like you gotta use you gotta your keep deodorant. It in there. Spray and deodorant. Then use some deodorant that's good for you. Like sometimes, like me find the right deodorant. Like Dove is like a super super strong deodorant, so you might need degree because it might put the bumps under your underarm or you know. Or like, yeah. let you me tell you some stuff that's not even deodorant that you can like wipe under your underarm. There's some stuff on TikTok that's not deodorant, but it's used as a deodorant. And they got that stuff that Armor Hammer. Yeah, they, they do. They got that cream you can wipe under that motherfucker. They got that, that, that shit stay under your underarm for days. They got like, that one stuff that's expensive, but it's like it's all natural and stuff. that don't got iron or something like that inside of it, and you get no that. aluminum. It has no you aluminum. You know, on TikTok, like that. I bet y'all y'all find a whole bunch of black owned uh places and stuff. But yeah, make sure y'all is taking care of yourself because it's ridiculous. Like I shouldn't. I, the stuff that we went through that we're hearing and, and, and because like we're Haitian and like I don't know if the Haitian side be kicking out I be sweating and I be musty sometimes I just I don't know as soon as I, I be like as soon as I get out the shower I have to put on deodorant yeah immediately yeah because once I start sweating it's, it's, it's done and okay. wash your fucking sheets Ooh. I am That's not finna you shouldn't have to go you a motherfucker was just, a girl just told me she was like 
his sheets would smell like pee. Like what? His get some candles. Like musty nuts. Like, get some candles. Like sweaty balls. I'm like, what? What do you mean? So, just SPJ of the day. Like, Keep yourself together. together. Yes. Like nobody. Like these bitches be talking and they be dogging y'all. And y'all and y'all know the thing about this y'all too wrong. Let me explain here too because it be the same motherfuckers that be back fucking with that same nigga that probably be stinking too. So that my is thing true. is y'all ladies need to start speaking up. Yeah, y'all ladies too. do too. But no, no, no. Sometimes y'all need to catch y'all. Y'all need to y'all need to be catching if the fucking nigga, hands. If a nigga catch a and throw away them underwear that you had since middle school and high Please, school. Please, your underwear should not have fucking holes. In, I can't say now I got bleach underwear, but still, damn bitches don't got fucking holes inside of it. Like, come the fuck on, like. Get out of here. And you know the one boxers. You know them ass thing boxers. Take the pity, please. Put them motherfuckers away. away. And don't be wearing no tight ass motherfucking drawers because you're going to get a yeast infection. And then and the, Wait, with your tight ass drawers, what's another thing? When you wear tight and then the motherfuckers that free ball. If you free ball and switch your motherfucking basketball shorts that you wear under your fucking pants all the time. Like, damn. Don't nobody fuck that. I never did that before. And I feel like in the summertime, especially if you know you're a sweating ass nigga, it's mandatory that you have to take one or two, or two showers a day. I mean. I don't, I'm not even a sweating ass nigga. I took two showers a day Sometime, when it was hot as fuck. No, no one when day, we travel to hot places, I'd be taking showers two times a day. Like, definitely. Mm -hmm. because nigga, you stay in Texas. Asian you telling me you ain't live? I mean, you ain't taking two showers a day? You must be under in Florida, AC. In Florida. Come Florida. on. Florida. But yeah, just get y'all stuff together. And and nobody had to tell you. Make sure y'all get y'all the. Um, oh, we. Dior, you know what? Sadie we gon' we gon' we gon' we gon' come in with the bottles of cologne to tell y'all to get because they smell so motherfucking good. Can I tell them some right now though? I think no, we're we doing one. Yeah, okay. yeah. Like, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, another, we gonna do like SPJ takeover, and that's what y'all do. Okay, okay yeah, I'm gonna show y'all some of my cologne. Thank yeah. you. Get y'all shit together. What the fuck? No shit nobody had to tell y'all asses. Y'all grown ass. What the fuck? And you doing? smell yourself before anybody else. I swear to God. Like I, that's that. why I be saying too. Like, I know you motherfuckers smell and, yourself and, before and anybody else. And what's that, that shit that it's like that blue bottle of the peppermint stuff? Dr. Dr. Show. Yeah. Get that yeah. mother. Daddy gets you right. Get you off of you. That's gonna have your asshole tingling. <laughs> you probably probably need to tangle mm. with one moment. <laughs> Daddy gets you right. Tangle for a few seconds. But with that being said, drink your motherfucking water, mind your motherfucking, motherfucking business, and we just got what straight, straight to it. it. Thank and you. And y'all make sure y'all mind the business that pays. Pay you, please. Right. It, at, at all, I'm broke as hell.